Once your GE Appliance's French door refrigerator is installed, it may take up to 48 hours to produce ice. If your unit has not produced ice after 48 hours, we suggest trying these quick and easy troubleshooting steps to determine the issue. First, make sure the ice maker is turned on. This adjustment can be made by a selection on the main controls display on most models. However, if you have a CAFE model, you must first select Settings on the touchscreen, then navigate to the second page menu and select Ice Maker to turn the unit on or off. Next, make sure that the temperature settings are correct. The ice maker will not fill with water until the freezer temperature reaches 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Factory settings should be set at 0 degrees Fahrenheit for the freezer and 37 degrees Fahrenheit for fresh food. These settings are usually optimal for ice production. If not, try adjusting the controls to colder settings by 1 degree every 24 hours. Remember to keep the refrigerator doors closed to avoid room temperature air from warming the cool refrigerator air. Improperly installed filters could also hinder ice production. The water filter cartridge is located in the fresh food interior on the left side wall. To correctly install the filter, align the top of the filter cartridge with the word front facing outward. Then push the cartridge forward until it is fully seated. Do not twist the cartridge. Gently swing the filter inward until it is in position. Then run two gallons of water through the water dispenser to remove air from the system. Pockets of air may disrupt the ice maker fill process if this step is not completed. If you do not have a filter, the filter bypass plug must be installed. Be sure that nothing is interfering with the ice maker feeler arm. When the ice bin fills to the level of the feeler arm, the ice maker will stop producing ice. You may need to clean out the ice bin to prevent frozen ice clusters from interfering with the ice maker feeler arm. To clean the ice bin, open the ice bucket, pull the ice bucket out of the left hand drawer. Discard all remaining ice, including any frozen ice clusters. Then, set it on the guide brackets and push until the ice bucket properly seats. If the bucket cannot be replaced, rotate the ice bucket fork one quarter turn clockwise. And finally, make sure that your refrigerator is properly connected to the water source. The cold water supply is required for automatic ice maker operation. It should be connected to the back of your refrigerator by copper tubing or smart connect tubing. If there is no cold water supply, you will need to provide one. If these troubleshooting techniques do not provide a solution, you may need to contact a qualified service technician to assist you further. Log on to geappliances.com for more information about our products and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates, recipes and more.